All right, and now we're going to walk you through the different strain patterns for craniosacral rhythm. For this, we're going to start with flexion extension. This is what your body normally does. Uh, this will be about two transverse axes, one through the sphenoid and one through the occipital bone. These will be going oppositely. For this, in an exaggerated form, we'll feel inflection. We'll feel the temporal bones come out, and the sphenoid bones and the occipital bones, or my fingers where they are, will be going down. For this, it will feel look something like this to you. As it goes into flexion, you'll feel them spread out and move uh, inferiorly along the patient, and as it goes into extension, it will come together and towards you. This is exaggerated, mind you. Next up, we will have a physiologic uh, strain pattern, which is torsion. In this, we will have one AP axis in which the sphenoid goes one way, and the occiput goes the opposite way to compensate. For this, we will feel our hands twist a little bit uh, with one hand coming towards us. Whichever one, the, sven the greater wing of the sphenoid is closer towards you in the vault hole, that one will be the side which we name it for. So we will demonstrate a left torsion by pulling our left hand towards us, and our right hand, the front, will go slightly away from us. To visualize that again, we will see a left torsion going like this, as opposed to normal. Next up, we will do side bending and rotation physiologic strain pattern. For this, this is about two vertical axes, one on the sphenoid and one on the occiput, and one AP axis going through both. For this, one side will go more into flexion, meanwhile the other will go more into extension. If you remember how your hands moved, going into flexion and extension, one will go into flexion and one will go into extension. To demonstrate a left side bending and rotation pattern, we will have the left side go more into flexion and the right side will go more into extension. This is exaggerated again, but let's demonstrate. The left hand for a left-sided side bending rotation will go somewhat into flexion, while the right hand will go somewhat into extension. Now we will do the non-physiologic or pathologic strain patterns. For this, we will have vertical and lateral strains and SBS compression, and we'll start with vertical strain. In a vertical strain, this will be about two transverse axes. However, as opposed to flexion and extension, where they were going in different directions, in a vertical strain, they will be going in the same direction. For this, you could have a superior strain or an inferior strain. If you want an easy way to remember, just feel which way your pinkies go. That's going to demonstrate whether it is superior coming towards you or an inferior going away from you. I will demonstrate again away from our patient. In a vertical strain, the greater wings of the sphenoid will tilt down and the occiput will come superior. In an inferior physiologic, non-physiologic strain, my pinkies will go away and the gray wings of the sphenoid, where my index fingers are, will come towards me. Next up, we will do the lateral strain. This will be about two vertical axes. And unlike side bending and rotation, where they were going opposite directions, this time they are going in the same direction. This will generate a sort of parallelogram effect that we may feel in our patient. For a left one, once again, we'll be seeing what the pinkies do if they come to the left of the patient or to the right of the patient. I will demonstrate this away. During a left lateral strain, the pinkies will go towards the patient's left and my index fingers will go towards the right. In a right lateral strain, the pinkies will come to the right of the patient while my index fingers will go to the left. Once again, this is very much exaggerated. You will not feel it anywhere near as much. Finally, we have SBS compression. In this, the occiput and the sphenoid, as opposed to where they normally are, are compressed together, generating what we like to call a bowling ball head. And you will feel less flexion and extension in the patient.